boys and girls boys and girls boys and girls today on the to-do checklist let's start with bertha and the airbag sensor one of the airbag sensors is messed up and if you're wondering what the airbag light looks like there with the little circle saying hey if something happens that ball is not going to slap you in the face we're going to take my old innova 3150 hook it up to the odb port onto the srs which is going to be one moment one moment one moment all right it is saying right front impact sensor internal malfunction uh lost communication if you're sitting in the car left side is left right side is right so left side will be driver's side in the United States right side will be passenger side so let's try that see if it works so all we're gonna need looks to be is a 10 millimeter bolt we're just gonna do the passenger side uh, impact sensor and the one I have here is a Dorman 590203 uh, look up your own year make and model to make sure that you have the right sensor but this should be the right one for me i am working on the airbag system and i want my airbag to go off i did uh, unplug the negative battery terminal i have my 10 millimeter socket and my 10 millimeter wrench because i'm not sure which one is going to work best for this right side passenger side this is what we're looking for right here this is the sensor and you can see the 10 millimeter bolt right there so i think my ratchet my wrench is going to be my ratchet and wrench is probably going to be the best for this space so we're just going to take this loose to go from the front and fitness loosening it up all right so yeah i can see this not being functional anymore because the body is indeed cracked i probably tightened it down too much cracked the body probably got some water in there and that's why it doesn't work so yeah sometimes it's good to see why something actually doesn't work all right, and the sensors look the same and everything. Uh, so, how does the orange one? Oh, there we go. So the orange one comes out, and then the yellow one, you just push it down, and then it comes out. Take the new one. And then slide the orange one in to keep the yellow one from coming out. And then you just you take it. You put the notch into that little notch spot there. So it, it goes one way. I guess so that it's facing a certain way. And then we are going to tighten this mamma jamma up. Reset the airbag code or see if the airbag code just goes away so i'm going to head and tighten this up and then tighten it up with my ratchet and wrench and i'll be back everything is installed i did not tighten it as much as what i did the last time so hopefully uh it won't crack again because i'm pretty sure that was probably from me just over tightening it so don't over tighten it for it'll cost you 80 dollars so 85 dollars whatever i paid for this new one Let's see what we got here. Oh, I still, hold on. It still says service airbag. Hold on, did it go away? Did it go away? Okay, let's turn it off. Because it was on for a second. Because normally as soon as I start it up, it will say service airbag. All right, so the service airbag light is off. Let it check it. And boom, that fixed it. So just like that, that is done. So no more airbag light on my truck. 
if you have an under tray, you have four bolts to hold the under tray on. I think that 15 millimeter take those off. I don't know which way the sun is facing. I've had that sensor for about a year. Just replaced it. Should have done that a while ago. So now we're going to move to the fuel system and do the the evaporator canister, which will be the next video uh, on this. And I gotta pull the spare tire down, all the other stuff. So, like always, think, build, enjoy. Fix your toys. Make sure they're running up to snuff like they're supposed to. That way, if something happens, it'll take care of you. All right, peace. All right, airbag sensor done.